What's up YouTube, it's your boy Michael, and in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a fresh new UI library that I found called Magic UI. Now, if you've been subscribed to this channel, then you know I always share with you the latest and greatest UI libraries to make your building process faster and to make your applications look nice, right? One of the things that you have to understand is in the day and age that we are, if an application is not intuitive, is not looking nice, people are probably not gonna use it. It is what it is. But without further ado, let's check out Magic UI. I've already implemented this in some of my applications and I think you'll really like what this UI library has to offer. So there's a couple cool things they have. They have bento grids and you know they're very um, clean, um, simple, aesthetically pleasing. Now the one thing I will say about this UI library is it builds on top of ShatCN. So it uses a lot of the ShatCN I don't know if you call them components, but we'll call them components. So as someone who's a heavy user of ShatCN, this just makes integrating very, very simple. They have the animated list, the tweet card, and then they have like this animation of like, you could have this as like a testimonial uh, section, you know, the classic globe. Now this is when I implemented orbiting circles. Now, if you go on my starter kit site, I use the orbiting circles to show off, um, you know, some of the, uh, tools that are used to build a starter kit. So I find it very clean and simple. And the code was, you know, pretty simple to install. You just create a folder, magic UI, like you do UI for ShatCN, copy paste this code, create this file, add this in your tailwind config, and then you just add it to whatever page you want. Now this doc component, uh, it, it makes it feel like an operating system. And I implemented this on my personal site. So look, again, looks very clean, animates very smoothly. And then you have animated beam, which this is perfect for the GPT wrappers or the AI wrappers out there, just to show what type of integrations you have going on. Let's keep going. You have the border beam. So this is like a beam that just hovers on around an image. And again, I use this in my starter kit as well. As you can see here, like just these small little things that just make your application much more clean and and, you know, I, I, to me, it adds perceived value, right? At the end of the day, your product can be trash. But like, I just assume when you have a site that looks this good, oh, these guys are going to cook. And then you have this uh, animated shiny text. Again, added on my starter kit. Very, very simple and intuitive. They have a shimmer button. Now, this is something I want to add, like a, uh, like a grid, uh, animated scrolling grid. I haven't played with it yet. But that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to show you magicui.design. Check it out. Link in the description down below. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.